<laughs> All right, we're talking house plants. House plant 101 today. Do you have a plant that's not thriving? Well, it might be the pot that it's in. Did you think of that? I have thought about that because yeah. my pots are too small for my plants yeah, right mine now. Mine are too. Melissa Cole met up with gardening expert Jen Mooney to learn a quick fix for this. Take a look. So today we're talking all about the right kind of pots for your plants. I'm here with Jen Mooney. Hi, Jen. Hi. And I've learned from you over the years that you really enjoy the terracotta pots. Yes. And so do plants because they're breathable. And But I do, I mean, there's a lot of pots out there and there's a lot of beautiful pots. So I get it. Um, yeah, because I brought this one from home because I love the pattern on it. It's beautiful. But it's not necessarily helping my plant thrive because there's no drainage or anything. Well. You have just a plastic insert in here, which your plant doesn't seem to be so happy no. with. Um, but there's a solution. So it's really important that all pots have drainage. Okay. And drainage means there are holes so water can drain from the pot. Okay. Plants do not like sitting in water. A glazed pot like this will really hold water because it's not breathing. So the solution is to just drill a hole. Who knew? If you've got a drill, get yourself a masonry bit. Um, that will drill through, you know, ceramic or whatever. Okay. I like to take a piece of tape, like duct tape, and put that down first, because that will sort of eliminate any shards or dust that would fly off from your drilling. Okay. And we're gonna establish our spot. We'll put one right down the center, and then we'll begin drilling. There we go. All right. So it now, takes a little bit of uh, muscle to get that done. It takes a little bit. Of, it depends on the pot. Yeah. Some pots are easier. This one was a little bit tough because it's thick and it's glazed. So now we've got a drainage hole. And so the thing is, you don't want your plants to be sitting in the water. No, they, they don't, don't like that. that. No one likes a soggy bottom. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so we're going to fill this up with soil and repot this? Yeah. And it'll be good to go? Yes. OK. All right, here it is. It looks happier already. I mean, can you? It just feels healthier and happier, yes, right? I love it. And it's got the good drainage hole. We will run this under a little water, give it a good soaking, and then you'll just leave it alone and let it establish in its pot. All right, I love it. Thank you so much. You're so welcome. All right. Jen and Melissa talked about a bunch of other common problems that could be harming your house plants. Yeah, they're going to be sharing much more um, those tips and tricks with us. That's coming up next week on Great Day Connecticut. Terrific.